Hey guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding video, we discussed the classification, properties and clinical uses of aminoglycosides. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this video, we shall learn the structure activity relationships and mechanism of action of aminoglycosides. The aminoglycosides consists of two or more amino sugars joined in glycosidic linkage to a highly substituted 1,3-diaminocyclohexane known as aminocyclitol which is a centrally placed ring. The ring is a 2-deoxystreptamine abbreviated 2-DOS in all aminoglycosides except streptomycin and dihydrostreptomycin where it is streptidine. Thus, in kenamycins and gentamicin families, two amino sugars are attached to 2-deoxystreptamine. In streptomycin, two amino sugars are joined to streptidine. And in neomycin family, there are three amino sugars attached to 2-deoxystreptamine. The aminoglycoside antibiotics contain two important structural features. They are amino sugar portion and centrally placed hexose ring which is either 2-deoxystreptamine or streptidine. Amino sugar portion An amino sugar is either a hexose or a ribose in which the oxygen atom forms in the ring system. The amino sugar in aminoglycosides contain an amino group at C2 and a methyl amine group at C6. Centrally placed hexose ring, also known as aminocyclitol ring. The distinguishing structural component of all aminoglycosides is an aminocyclitol unit. Aminocyclitols are carbocycles or cyclohexane derivatives that have amine functionality at C1 and C3 and hydroxyl groups at C4, C5 and C6. Thus, aminocyclitol ring is chemically known as 1,3-diaminocyclohexane. It does not contain a hydroxyl group at C2, thus it is chemically known as 2-deoxystreptamine. Usually, the hydroxyl groups present at 4th and 6th positions are bound to amino sugars via glycosidic linkages. Aminocyclitol ring is present mostly at the center of all the aminoglycosides except in streptomycin where it is present at one of the terminal ends. It is always bound to two or more amino sugars at C4 and or C6 positions via a glycosidic linkage. Most commonly encountered aminocyclitols are those derived from 1,3-di-deoxy and 1,2,3-tri-deoxy cyclic inositols. 2-deoxystreptamine derived aminoglycosides the majority of the aminoglycosides that are clinically important possess a disubstituted 2-deoxystreptamine aminocyclitol. In each compound, six-membered cyclic sugar units are joined onto the C4 and C6 hydroxyl groups on the aminocyclitol through glycosidic linkages. The kenamycins, gentamicins, cesomycin, and tobramycin are naturally occurring compounds belonging to this classification and netilmycin, amycacin, and dibacacin are semi-synthetic congeners. An extremely useful modification of the aminocyclitol unit is acylation or alkylation of the C1 amine group as exemplified by some semi-synthetic aminoglycosides that have been marketed. Amycacin is the C1-N-anhydroxybutyryl derivative of kenamycin A and netilmycin is the N1-ethyl derivative of cesomycin. Other C1-acyl and alkyl derivatives have been prepared and many have demonstrated good activity. In general, the C1 position is tolerant of modification if the acyl or alkyl group is rather small in size. Typically, C1 substituents containing fewer than 5 carbon atoms offer good antibacterial activity. The C3 amino substituent is necessary for antibacterial activity and all important aminoglycosides have this moiety. In addition, the 2-deoxystreptamine derived aminoglycosides necessarily have the C2 position unsubstituted. The C4, C5 and C6 hydroxyl moieties of the aminocyclitol are crucial for activity and the stereochemistry at these positions is also important. 
However, few variations at the C4, C5 and C6 positions have been investigated. The sugar units that extend from the central amino cyclitol nucleus contain substituents that are also needed for antibacterial activity. Certain amine and hydroxyl groups that emanate from these sugars are important for ribosomal binding. Resistant bacteria can produce aminoglycoside modifying enzymes that chemically alter these key amine and hydroxyl moieties and end result is that the modified aminoglycoside is unable to undergo ribosomal binding and thus antibacterial activity is lost. In addition, several analogues that lack these features have been chemically produced and have been shown to be inferior antibacterials. Among a multitude of functionality, the C2 and C4 hydroxyl groups and the C3 amine moiety stand out among the C6 sugar substituents of the two deoxy-derived aminoglycosides. As in the case of aminocyclital C3 amine group, the C2 hydroxyl group is also prone to structural modification by certain bacterial enzymes which results in loss of antibacterial activity. On the other hand, a C4 hydroxyl group is ubiquitous to deoxystreptamine based aminoglycosides. However, these are a number of variations on this theme. Most aminoglycosides contain a simple C4 carbinol, although cesomycin and netilmycin have a tertiary alcohol at this position. Similarly, a C3 amine moiety is desirable, although again certain variations are permitted. The streptomyces elaborate compounds with a simple amine group at C3, for example, kenamycins and tobramycin, whereas the amino group is methylated in compounds produced by micromonospora, for example, gentamycins and cesomycin. The sugar or pseudo sugar joined to a 2 deoxystreptamine C4 hydroxy position can also vary, although certain key amine and hydroxyl groups appear to contribute to optimal ribosomal binding. The C6 position is usually a simple amine, but this group can be methylated as in the case of some of the gentamycins. The C3 and C4 centers are apparently tolerant to some modifications. These positions are often both hydroxylated with appropriate stereochemistry such as that found in the kenamycins. However, the C3 can be unsubstituted and C4 position hydroxylated as evidenced by tobramycin. Alternatively, both the C3 and C4 positions can be unsubstituted as illustrated by dibecacin. The C4 center can be unsubstituted providing the tetrahydropyranyl derivatives cesomycin and natilmycin. Lastly, the C3 position appears to play a role in ribosomal binding and contains either an amine or a hydroxyl group. Some aminoglycosides contain a 4-5 disubstituted aminocyclitol nucleus, for example the neomycins and the paramomycins. These compounds contain a different glycosidic scaffolding from that of the 4-6 disubstituted aminoglycosides. A ribose sugar emanates from the C5 position of the 2-deoxystreptamine nucleus and usually contains a sugar substituent joined by way of the glycosidic linkage. In addition, the C6 hydroxyl center of the 2-deoxystreptamine core is unsubstituted. As with other aminoglycosides, there exists key amine and hydroxyl groups that are crucial for antibacterial activity. As with the 4-6 disubstituted derivatives, the 2-deoxystreptamine nucleus can be acylated at the C1 amino functionality to provide N-hydroxybutyryl derivatives that retain good antibacterial activity. For example, butyrosins contain a ribose unit that lacks an additional sugar at C3. Other reported modifications to the 2-deoxystreptamine system are rather rare. Both the neomycins and the paramomycins contain C3 and C4 hydroxyl groups. The C3 position is targeted by bacterial enzymes that destroy activity. A C2 amine group is present in both the neomycins and the paramomycins and appears to be needed for useful activity. Lastly, the neomycins contain a C6 amine group while paramomycins possess a C6 hydroxyl moiety. The C6 position is susceptible to deactivation by bacterial enzymes. 
Thus, the sugar moiety joined to the C4 hydroxyl position of the 2 deoxystreptamine of the 4 6 di substituted amino glycoside is important. Modifications to the ribose linked amino sugar joined at the C6 streptamine hydroxyl position have remained essentially unexplored. Coming to the streptomycins and spectinomycins. Removal of the C1 and C3 amidino moieties from the streptidine unit of streptomycin affords the inactive analogs. Elaboration of the guanidino moieties by alkylation or acetylation has also been detrimental in terms of activity. The ribose-based aldehyde functionality is apparently important for activity but allowing for some structural modifications. For example, the reduction of the aldehyde to the corresponding alcohol affords dihydrostreptomycin which is an excellent derivative. However, reductive amination of the ribose aldehyde results in loss of activity. Other modifications to the ribose ring have been few and uneventful. Similarly, the C2 ribose amino sugar substituent addition has yet to be synthetically elaborated to the appreciable extent although demethylation of the C1 methyl amino group retains partial antibacterial activity. The spectinomycins are pseudo-amino glycosides since they do not contain any glycosidic linkage but do possess a ring-fused aminocyclitol. Spectinomycin contains a ketone moiety that exists in equilibrium with the hydrated form. Spectinomycin does not induce codon misreading because it does not contain a 2 deoxystreptamine derived nucleus. Its action is bacteriostatic which also differentiates it from most other amino glycosides. There have been few useful structural modifications of spectinomycin and in fact most alterations have produced derivatives which lack antibacterial properties. For example, deoxygenation of either the C7 or the C9 hydroxyl groups of the aminocyclitol ring destroys activity. The relative stereochemistry at the ring junctions is necessary for activity as is the absolute stereochemistry of the molecule as a whole. Enantiomeric spectinomycin is completely devoid of antibacterial activity. Epimerizations of several of the stereocenters have likewise yielded inactive compounds. Lastly, cleavage of any ring abolishes antibacterial properties and as a result, the tricyclic system is considered necessary for activity. There have been a few noteworthy modifications to the non-amino cyclitol rings. Reduction of the ketone moiety at the C4 position produces the corresponding dihydrospectinomycins which exhibit inferior antibacterial activity compared to the parent compound. The ring can also be bis-hydroxylated at the adjacent C2 and C3 positions to yield the corresponding dihydrospectinomycin which is only weakly active. The most recent promising advance has come from the realization that the C2 methyl group can be replaced with larger alkyl substituents to produce derivatives that retain potency and spectrum of activity similar to those of the parent spectinomycin. Mechanism of action of aminoglycosides. Aminoglycosides exert their bactericidal activity against most gram-negative bacteria. The aminoglycosides passively diffuse through the outer cell wall of bacteria and are then actively transported through the cell membrane into the cytoplasm. This process requires oxygen and the aminoglycosides are not active against anaerobic bacteria. Aminoglycosides specifically bind to the 30S ribosomal subunit where aminoglycosides interfere with the initiation of the protein synthesis and cause misreading of the genetic code that is mRNA, a step in protein synthesis necessary for bacterial multiplication. This also leads to the incorporation of a wrong amino acid is inserted into the protein structure. Thus, the bacteria can no longer produce the enzymes and proteins necessary for its survival and reproduction. As the overall effect is irreversible, it leads to the bactericidal effect or death of the cell. Bacterial killing is concentration dependent. The higher the concentration, the greater is the rate at which bacteria are killed. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the structure activity relationships and mechanism of action of aminoglycosides. 
in the next lesson we will discuss the individual amino glycoside drugs till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video